Welcome to the puzzle session. The puzzle we are looking at is as follows. So nine numbers are placed in a circle. Four of them are ones and five of them are zeros. So this is one possible arrangement of such numbers. Four ones and five zeros. And they are arranged in a circle. It could be some other configuration, but this is just an example. And we perform the following operation. On any given arrangement, we can perform the following operation, which is as follows. So between each adjacent pair of numbers, we place a zero if the numbers are different. We place a one if the numbers are same. And we erase the old numbers. So for example, suppose this was the starting configuration, four ones and five zeros. What we do is we between so so these are two adjacent numbers they are the same so between them we place a one now this and this are different so between them we place a zero then here they are the same so one same one different zero different zero different zero different zero zero and then we erase the old entries so Initial configuration now evolves to this configuration. Now here you do no longer have, um, what do you say, four ones and five zeros. We have a different number of ones and a different number of zeros. That's okay. So this, so you can apply the same process again, and then you'll get another configuration, then another configuration. The question asks if it is possible to reach a configuration where all the numbers are equal. So after several applications of this operation, starting with a configuration where you have four ones and five zeros, can you reach a configuration where all the numbers are equal? And um, the answer, well, you can think about it, of course, uh, but the answer is no. And here is the reason. So suppose, on the contrary, that you can reach a configuration where all the numbers are equal. So it is possible somehow. So at the zeroth step, there is there are some there is some arrangement of numbers. We we don't exactly know what it is, but we know there are four ones and five zeros. And then we apply the process, then another step, another step, and there comes a point when we reach a configuration where all the numbers are equal. So let's say this is the nth step where we reach a configuration where all the numbers are equal, and we can assume that n is the smallest such number. So there is a first time when we will reach a configuration where all the numbers are equal, assuming we reach such a configuration at all. So this is a key style of reasoning in such problems. Uh, so assume that you can reach such a configuration and then if you can, then of course you'll reach it for the first time at some point. And let's say that time is n. So nowhere before you reach a configuration where all the numbers are equal. Okay, so there are two cases. Case one, all of these numbers are equal to one. All of the numbers are equal, so either all of them are one or all of them are zero, so the first case is that all of them are one. Well, if all of them are one, what was the penultimate configuration? What was the configuration just prior to the one that one at the nth step. Now, if in the previous, in, if in this configuration, this penultimate configuration, if there were two different numbers sitting adjacent to each other, we would have seen a zero here, because whenever two different adjacent numbers sit next, uh, you know, if two different numbers sit next to each other, we place a zero, that's the rule. So we would have seen a zero here, but our case is that all of the numbers are equal to one. So what we see is that every pair of adjacent numbers are equal, which means all numbers are equal. If every pair of adjacent numbers are equal, then all numbers are equal, which contradicts the fact that n was the smallest natural number for which at the nth step we have all the numbers are equal. So this case cannot occur. Okay? So case two is all of the numbers are zero.
okay so all of the numbers are zero and let me let me just draw for psychological convenience six seven eight and nine so this is our penultimate configuration so if this is our penultimate configuration what we see is that uh, whatever two numbers uh, whatever two adjacent numbers we pick they must be different right so only then we will get all of them are zero every pair of adjacent number must be different and since all of them are not equal because n is the smallest number for which all of them become equal there is a zero somewhere here and that does, doesn't really matter but let's say i mean there is a zero here somewhere there has to be because if all of them are one then the contradiction happens with the minimality of n so there is a zero somewhere here but then this guy has to be a one because you know the one adjacent to this this guy has to be equal to one because it has to be different from zero that's what we argued but then this guy has to be zero again it has to be different from one so it has to be zero the adjacent one has to be one then it has to be zero then it has to be one then zero we've already written how many four three seven and then it has to be a one eight numbers and then it has to be a zero and we've already written nine numbers but then we find that we have two adjacent numbers which are not different which contradicts our conclusion that if this is the if this is a configuration where all of them are zero the penultimate configuration has must have the property that every pair of adjacent numbers is different so we reach a contradiction either way case one is contradicted case two is contradicted so it's simply not possible to reach a configuration where all of the numbers are same and we didn't really use the fact that uh, we had four ones and five zeros we just we could just start with any configuration where you have some zeros and some ones the argument works okay so uh, very nice this answer is no i hope you enjoyed the puzzle session as usual like comment share subscribe i also have patreon the link is in the description below thank you for listening and i'll see you next time